I finished my shopping and joined my fellow students to return to Iris Academy. And it's the end of the week now, so you should be able to do that now. Yep. Yes. Inventory. Oh, wait, that's you? Yeah. Oh, Rain, you look so adorable. <laughs> Are you doing anything next weekend? <laughs> I've only been down here talking the entire game. <laughs> hmm. I'm sorry, I was too busy looking at all the other freaks on the screen. All Not right. saying you're a freak, just that Damien kid. You should dump him. <laughs> Alright, um... We already saved, so I'm not even gonna bother. Uh, next week. Oh man, the stats jumped up quite nicely. Oh wow, yeah. Straight fives. I mean, it's, it's only fives, but I feel so much more... Power! <laughs> I feel like a real wizard. Power. Or witch. Or... Unlimited power. Alright, well... How do... Diagonal? What? What do we want? Uh, we can probably do a lot more studying now. Ooh, yeah. We have no stress. Yeah. Did that reset our stress because we didn't have classes at all on Friday? Yeah, it did say we slept and stuff. Slept in. I don't want to study all week in case we miss stuff. Yeah, I agree. So... So... Let's... Do you want to make blue and red awesome? And then hit up a little bit of black? Let's take some study days? Sure. Bam, bam. Something like that? Sure. Alright. We need more mana, so I don't want to... I don't want to neglect study, but I think the only thing we'll run into studying, since I think we do it in our room, would be more scenes with Virginia and Ellen, which are nice and everything. But if stuff happens in class, I don't want to miss it. Ellen's quite nice. You're writing fanfics, aren't you? No, no. Spark! Spark strikes the target, which may catch fire if it's something likely to burn. Oh no! We're getting there, Tim. Burn the school! <laughs> <laughs> yep. I wonder if there is like a bad end where you accidentally burn down Iris Academy. Gain two blue magic. Like, I swear, officer, she was trying to steal my wand. <laughs> Farsight. Allows the caster to view a nearby known location. Oh, we two spells. Uh, probably Comple one. Yeah, completely removes visibility in the caster's location. Hmm. Far speak. Oh, this is blue and white. Communicate with a willing subject in a nearby known location. Interesting. Huh, so we have combo magic in this game. Hmm. I wonder if this means that's a combination of the spell we just learned and... Uh, com communication, like the white spell? No. Just keep going. Yeah. We'll find out. I don't think we need to talk to walls anytime soon. <laughs> In the dungeons. Oh, we didn't fail at black this time. Detect charm. Detect objects which have been enchanted in the caster's current location. Oh. Our wand looks silly. We should have bought the wiggle wand. <laughs> I think that would look even sillier. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hello, Rain. Did you enjoy your dinner? I suppose it was alright. I like your wand. Give it to me. <laughs> really? No way, man. I had to save up since I got here. <laughs> really? <laughs> if you like your chili on the bland side... Oh, burn! <laughs> Our chefs are terrible, apparently. Well, they have to appease everyone's taste. <laughs> I thought so. Wink! There are many secrets here you probably haven't found out yet. Such as the best place to get a good meal. Would you like to come to dinner with me tomorrow? Off campus? Only if you're paying, because now I'm broke. <laughs> At the mall food court? He chuckles. Oh, 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 smile. Near the mall, but not quite part of it. It's called the Glen. And it's magic only. Is he a uh, racist against non-magic people? No, I, nah, I don't I'm think just... that's the case. It's just... Otherwise, he'd be pushing you all away. Yeah. Again. The professors go there when they're too tired to travel. And visiting parents who want to take their student children somewhere nice. I thought parents weren't allowed to visit. Non-magical parents aren't supposed to visit. Oh. So, would you like to go? 
I can't afford it. True. That's the only honest answer. I mean, I could be like, sure, I'm busy. Is this a date? I wouldn't pick that because that's just outright lying. <laughs> but I can't be like, yeah, I'll go. Oh, I don't have any money. I don't want to be that person. Like, yeah, I'll go. Oh, I thought you were paying. <laughs> it's like, I don't think I can afford a fancy magical restaurant. I spent all my money on this stupid wand. <laughs> Funny, I spent all mine on this t-shirt. That's all right. It's my treat. Wink. You can pay me back in other ways. Oh, God. I'm not going to ask if it's a date. I'm just going to say okay. All right. That sounds like fun. Great smile face. I'll meet you tomorrow at the mall. Tilts his head in farewell, then walks away. TTFN, ta ta for now. You would totally say that with that voice. Mm. Ellen gets up early on Saturday morning and returns after the mall. Ah, I was reading mail mall instead of mail for some reason. And returns after the mail and allowance. You're just so excited. She has a letter in her hand. Ellen carefully works her finger under the sealed envelope flap, opening it with a minimum of tearing, then unfolds the letter and begins to read. She's trying to save it. What? <laughs> She drops back onto her bed with a thud and stares at the paper in her hands. What is it? it it's nothing. Just a change of plans. Uh-oh. My master scheme has to be elevated. <laughs> Apparently, I'm going... I'm not going home for Thanksgiving. It's like, things have changed. We have to move forward with the plan quicker than anticipated. Indeed. That master gem will be mine. What? Because it's a long way for such a short break. So it's better for me to stay here. All the more to steal. Is that what you want? That doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't. But it's not my decision. I, I can't go home on my own. They don't want me there. Oh. Well, we want you here, don't we, Rain? Yeah. Hey, go on a date with her. <laughs> she does look a little embarrassed there, like, yeah. Bring her with it's you like, on, on it, the Damien date. Like, oh, by the way, you're paying for her, too. It's like, <laughs> hey, idiot, it's not like I like you or anything. Come on, we should all do something together today. Oh, man. Oh, crap. No! <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> of course this backfires. Uh, hmm. I'm going anyway, because I told him, like... Yeah, he... You, you told him first. I already made plans. I'm not gonna lie about it. And, uh... I don't have enough money to buy food all week. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I promised I'd meet... Ah, I promised I'd, someone I'd meet them at the mall today. I have to go. Someone? Should I tease and say it's a secret? <laughs> They'll figure it out, but sure. That's a secret. <laughs> I like, like, their expressions didn't change, but they're both like, mm, you know. Secret. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, if you've got a date, then all I can say is good luck. Now tell her it's dating. <laughs> I didn't see Damien in the shuttle van on the way over. I'm not sure if he's here somewhere already or if he isn't coming until later. Since we're supposed to be having dinner, we won't be meeting for a couple of hours, so he has plenty of time. I've never seen him here, actually. I don't see absolutely everyone in the mall, of course. But he's sort of hard to miss. But can he go to a place like this looking like he does? That's racist. <laughs> he said when he went to the Apple Festival, he had to disguise himself. If he's wearing an illusion, he could be right here and I'd never know it. He could be anyone. A little boy, an old man, or a woman in a suit? Except, I don't think so. Looking at the people around me, somehow I'm sure that none of them could be Damien, even under an illusion. He would never slouch or shuffle like some ordinary teenager. He's a falcon to the core. That grace would always shine through. So if he's not here, what should I do while I wait? I guess I'll window shop, because if I'm in the store, I might miss him. That or he'll stand us up. And then I'll be like, what happened? What happened to the whole being friends thing, you jerk? You, 
you made me hurt my friend's feelings. I don't think we hurt their feelings, because they're like, oh, well, if you're meeting someone, and it might be a date. That's a different thing. She I wonder... needed us, yo. <laughs> she needed us beside her in the room. Okay. I wander in and out of various stores. It's not a very big mall, but there are books, clothes, music, and toys, so I keep myself Such entertained a big for a few room. hours. Stress decreases by three. Yay. At the arranged time, I wait near the main entrance for Damien. There he is, and looking just like he always does. None of the uh, ah, none of the non-magical shoppers seem to notice. Well, Halloween was only last week. Hello, Rain. Are you ready? Where are we going? I told you already. You You'll serious? see. Wink. It's not far, just across the parking lot. I'm taking you to Applebee's. <laughs> Careful, floor is lava. <laughs> yes. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I didn't see any restaurant there. It's hidden, of course. Wing. The easiest way to find it is to go with someone who's been there before. Shall we? He offers me his arm, and with minor hesitation, I lay my hand on it. It's slightly embarrassing for a friendly outing, but I do not- Ah, but I do need him to guide me. You know, I had that image too of him being like, Shall we? Thrust out an arm. And so together we leave the mall. 